In today's video, I built a working PvP mech inside build -A for Treasure. Mechs are one of the most iconic builds in build -A and are exceptionally cool to have, especially ones that you can battle with your friends. This mech has advanced mechanics giving it its destructive capabilities and smooth walking. You can use this mech in PvP battles and you can travel anywhere in the build -A map with it. It's also mobile friendly. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers, so if you enjoy, please check the subscribe button to see if you subscribe. It's completely free. Enjoy! All right, so we're back inside of Billabo for Treasure, and right over here, we have the destructive PvP mech. And as you guys can see, we're joined by some of my friends. This is the mech, and let's go ahead and see how it functions. All right, so right here, we have the mech in base mode, and basically, with this, you can do simple PvP and mech walking. So to actually use this mech is to flick this switch. And when you flick it, as you guys can see, it turns the wings into the X-Wing mode. And by doing this, you guys can actually PvP really nicely with the wings while also walking both on water and land with this mech now the surface of this mech actually make it really nice and smooth when you're uh, walking so as you guys can see the servos with the arms moving and also coordinated with the legs moving and this mech is actually a mini destructive mech so with the flick of a switch we can go back to our standing position and then we can also launch all of these missiles so with these destructive lasers you guys can just basically go up to anybody and destroy their builds if they have pvp mode on so we're actually going to come up to this mech right over here made by shuba and as you guys can see it has some pretty destructive weapon that it can swing around so we can use these mini swords or missiles that we can launch to actually go against him so first we're going to use these this x-wing as mini sword so we're just gonna come over here and oh my gosh we just launched him into the void and we actually won that mech battle even though we're a much smaller mech that was actually insane all right now i'm gonna be showing you guys the capabilities of when it actually launches as a missile which is also super destructive so the x-wing can basically not only act as a sword but also act as wings that actually fly and destruct and actually we can go ahead and launch all of these missiles with the flick of a switch and it just sends all of the missiles just like that and it actually is able to do a little bit of damage onto the mech and let's go ahead and finish it off just by running into it a bit and boom we just finished off the mech just like that and there it went just went into the void all right that was some really cool mech battles but you guys basically get the gist of what this thing does simple pvp mech with really cool walking mechanics used by servos and it has four mini missile launchers powered by an x-wing which you guys can actually use as a convertible wing just like this and with this next week you guys can just go ahead and launch your missiles just like that and you guys can go ahead and destroy any build that you guys desire and just go back to being a normal mech oh. so anyways let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial so for this mech you guys will be needing plastic servos glass neon switches and dynamite so anyways let's get right into the tutorial so first go ahead and select your plastic block and place one block on the ground like so then go ahead and place another plastic block on top like this then delete the one on the bottom then go ahead and scale it two times one two and scale it one time like this then just scale it down place a block right here place another block right here and place a block on top like so then delete the two bottom blocks and scale this down and scale it until four studs i'm going to be referring to studs in this tutorial so it's in the left middle right here and go ahead and scale it until 4 and 3. Then go ahead and put your move onto 0.5 and your rotate onto 45 degrees and tilt once. Place a block right here like so and place a block right here. Do the same on this side. 1, 2. Then go ahead and scale it like this on each side like so. Then scale into the build like this and scale all the way down for each one like this. There we go, we're just gonna have this last one right here. Then scale up one time on each one, so here we go. Now just go ahead and place a plastic block right here, like so. Then go ahead and scale down, and scale this way, and then scale it down like so, and then um, scale it in. So then we're gonna place another one right here. We're gonna scale down, then scale out, and just match it like this, and scale in, and match it down like so. So we should have two feet so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a plastic block on each side like this scale it over and scale it all the way up like this on both sides then scale it out until seven studs like so then seven studs like this go ahead and place another plastic block on the bottom of the feet 
and just do the same scale down on each side like so and then match the same length on the top so we're just gonna scale it like this then just scale it until right here and do the same for the other side now we're gonna go ahead and get our servos so go ahead and place one plastic block like this on each side this is just going to be for reference for where to place our servos. Go ahead and put your rotate back onto 90 degrees and your move onto 1. Then go ahead and rotate your servo like so. And go ahead and place one right here and the other one right here. Then go ahead and delete these two blocks. Now go ahead and place another plastic block on top of both of these servos and scale down on each one like so. Then place another plastic block on top of each one. Scale out on each side like this. So out forward, to the side, and backward. And then scale it up one time like this. And there we go. Now go ahead and place the plastic block on each side like this. One over here and one over here. Scale all the way in. And then we're going to scale it until 5 studs and 5 studs. So we're going to scale it to 5. And then scale it to 5. And do the same for this side. So we're going to scale it to 5. And then scale it to 5. Now go ahead and get your servo again. And we're going to place another one on top of here. Have it on the outer edge like this and have it um, rotated inwards like so. Do the same for the other side. Now go ahead and get another plastic block and place one on each um, servo like so. And scale in one time on each side. Then go ahead and place the plastic block on top of each one. Scale in on each side. Then scale out two times on each side like so. And scale up one time on each side like this. Then go ahead and place another plastic block on top of each side like this and go ahead and scale it inwards. Now we're going to be connecting the two so go ahead and put your move on to 0.5 and place a block like this then go ahead and connect the both and scale down like so. Now put your rotate up to 45 degrees and we're going to go ahead and go over here. You can put your move on to 1, tilt one time and we're going to place a block like so. Then go ahead and scale in and scale in. And we want it to be aligned right here like this and then go ahead and scale it to seven studs like so go ahead and do the same for the other side so we're going to place a plastic block right here scale in scale in and then scale it until seven studs now we're going to have a uh, block in the center so go ahead and rotate two times and tilt one time for both of these then go ahead and scale in and scale in we're gonna scale it down like so so we should make a little gap in the middle up for with both of these blocks scale down like so make sure there's no blocks hanging on the bottom and go ahead and scale each one to seven studs and seven studs and now go ahead and place a plastic block over here put your move on to 0 0.5 place one like right here then scale in like this scale in and there we go do the same over here, place a plastic block right here that's connected to the other side. Then go ahead and scale in. Now go ahead and get your servo again. So we're going to go right here. Put your move onto 1 and you're going to rotate to 90 degrees. Go ahead and get your servo and rotate it like so. Like this. Go up one on each side like so. And place it on each side. Then go ahead and get your plastic block. So we're going to place one on each side. So one right here and one right here scale in on each side like so we're gonna set our scale to 0 0.2 and scale in one time on each block like this then go ahead and put it put it back to one and then scale down until six studs like so do the same for this side now go ahead and place a plastic block on the bottom of the servos connected to the block then scale down until nine studs on each side and nine studs now go ahead and place another plastic block on the back of this thing right here. Scale out one time on each side and scale all the way in. Then scale two times down like so and then three times up like this. Then go ahead and select your servos again. So we're going to get our servos and we're going to rotate it like this. Place one right here and place one on the other side like this. Then go ahead and get it again and we're going to place one right here and one right here. So you guys should have two of these servos and two of these servos in the middle. Now go ahead and select your plastic block again. Place one on each of these servos and then scale it up until 12 studs like this. Scale it up until 12 studs like so. 
Do the same for these side servos, so scale it out until 12 studs. And do the same for this arm too. Then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get a glue block. And you guys can get these glue blocks through a lot of different quests, such as the find me quest. And you guys can just find that through any tutorial. So go ahead and get it right here. Place one on, um, like so. Then go ahead and place one um, inside of the block like this. Then delete the previous ones like so. Go ahead and do the same over here. So you place a glue block on the side of the wing. Then go ahead and place one inside of the plastic like this. And do the same for the final wing. So right here. And then we're going to place it inside like this. Then go ahead and get a plastic block. Place one right here and one right here. Do the same on the other side. One on the outside and then one right here. On the top is the same. Right here. Right here. And then one like this. And one like this. Then go ahead and get your thruster of any kind. I will be using red thrusters. But you guys can use any thruster you guys want. Place one on the back of each one. And these will be what launches the missiles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be making the laser beam. So go ahead and get your neon blocks. Then go ahead and place one neon block on each of these um, plastic blocks like so. Put your scale onto 0 0.2. Scale three times in. So 1, 2, 3. Then all the way in. And then from the top, 1, 2, 3. Then go ahead and um, scale it in like that. Do the same for these sides. So one, two, three, scale all the way in from the top. One, two, three, all the way in. And do the same for these two ones. Now go ahead and set your scale back to one and scale out each neon block until 24 studs. So we're just gonna scale it out until 24 on every single side. Now go ahead and place a switch to the side and this should make everything binded to everything. Then go ahead and get your pilot seat and place one right in the middle and just unbind it from whatever it binds to in this case it binded to that servo so we're just gonna remove it like that then go ahead and get your glass block we're gonna be making the head so go ahead and place a glass block right here and right here and right here then scale out on each plastic block like this and now just connect it to make a box shape so we're gonna go two on each side right here one two and then one two over here, we're going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then we're going to go ahead and place a plastic block at the back. So we're going to place one right here, scale in, then scale up until six studs, like so. Then scale up for the rest of the blocks, like this. Then scale the blocks up to four studs, so scale up two times on each side, like so. And there we go. Then go ahead and place a plastic block on top, put your move on to 0 0.5, place it right here. Um, let me place it right there. Then just go ahead and scale all the way over here, scale here, and just enclose the um, head. Then we're going to scale each side to 5 studs, so we're going to scale it up to 5 on each side. Like so, there we go. Then go ahead and place a plastic block, put your move on to 0 0.5, place it right here in the corner. Then go ahead and scale it over here. Scale it all the way over, then scale down one, like so. Then go ahead and put your move back to um, one, and we're going to place a plastic block right here, like so. Now we're going to get our bow motor. It's preferred to use the slower one, so it's easier to control. We're going to place it on the block, like so. Then go ahead and place another plastic block under this block right here, and scale it down until 21 studs. So we're going to scale it down like this to 21. And then what you want to do is go ahead and place a plastic block over here, Put your move on to 0 0.5, put, place it on the foot, scale up, then scale all the way to the other side. And we're just going to make a platform right here to connect it. And we want to make it 10 by 10. So this should be 10 by 10. Then go ahead and select this block and then scale it down into um, this plastic platform that we just made. And there we go. Over here, go ahead and place another plastic block on the foot. Scale out two times and scale all the way over here. Then go ahead and place another plastic block on that block and delete this. Then we're gonna scale up like so. And we're gonna make another 10 by 10, like this, 10 by 10. Now we just have to connect these two platforms. So go ahead and connect it any way possible. So I'm gonna be using um, one move. I'm just gonna place a block right here, scale it over here. I'm gonna do the same over here, place a block. 
skillet. Then we just have to connect both of these. So I'm just going to place a block right here. And then I'm just going to condense it a bit. And condense this one. And there we go. Now these two platforms are connected. Now I think I made the head a little bit too big. So we're going to go ahead and condense that. So go ahead and scale in on this um, glass. Scale in on every single side. And we're just going to... Then we're going to scale down one like this on each side. Then scale down on the plastic block like this. And we're just going to condense it. And that should look better. Now we're going to go ahead and get our switches. So go ahead and place two on the top of here. And if it binds to anything, then unbind it. So in this case, this servo binded to this. And we're going to go ahead and do there. And now nothing is binded to anything. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the binding. So first you want to select um, these servos back here and this boat motor and we're going to select this left um, switch. Now you go ahead and select all of the um, thrusters and also the glue blocks right here and select the right switch like so. Then come back to the front and select all of these servos that make the mech actually move and select the pilot seat and if you're on PC put left as A and right as D but if you're on mobile you should be fine. Then go ahead and use the screwdriver tool and select all and put the servo torque onto the green um, selection. Then go ahead and select these two servos and put the reverse rotation on. Now all we have left is just to set things invisible. So go ahead and select the platform down here and we're going to select this back here and also the boat motor and the servo. And we're also going to select the glue block and the thruster on every single um, wing like this and we're gonna go ahead and set transparency to 100% so no one will be able to see it and now just select these two switches and this block up here and turn collision off so that way when you come over here you guys can just go ahead and hop in the seat like this and then go ahead and save your build also don't forget to delete the switch that we placed earlier so now we're basically done with the whole mech so go ahead and hop in and to set it up make sure it's saved um, put the screwdriver tool, select all, and unanchor, and there we go, we have our working mech. So with the flick of this switch on the over here, you guys can um, start moving. And to actually make the legs move, you just spam A and D on your keyboard, or if you're on mobile, just tap the left and right arrows on your screen, and you guys should be walking like this, and there we go. So now, whenever you guys don't want to walk, just go ahead and flick the switch again. And then if you want to launch the missiles, go ahead and select this um, switch over here and it should launch all of the lasers like that. Now for the PvP aspect, go ahead and get um, TNT. And if you guys want to be able to PvP with other people, just go ahead and place TNT on this block right here and place it like this. And do that for all of the laser beams like this. And you guys can just go ahead and select this and turn transparency off. And this will become a PvP mech. But otherwise, all the mechanics are the same. And then just go ahead and place um, TNT on the lasers like this and turn transparency off. And you guys should be good to go. Also, make sure when you're placing the TNT, um, it's not binded to any of the switches. So for example, when I place um, a TNT over here, it's binded to that switch. So for each one, just unbind it like this or else it'll explode when you press the switch. So anyways, that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But anyways, have fun walking with your mech and PvPing people and destroying other mechs. So anyways, that's all for today and peace.